Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Um, just trying to zoom in here on my camera so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I've been not doing much videos lately, but I've been doing bits and pieces. So um, I've come on in now to show you what sort of things I do with bits and pieces I collect up. So I've remember, if you remember last week, I think I bought, I, well I did put it on last week, I bought these beads. Now I also had some blue ones. I don't know where I'll put those, but anyway, um, and I'm just going to show you, I've got the blue ones here, and I don't know whether I'll be, um, so I paid a dollar each for these, but these have got really, some really good big ones in there, so you never know what I might do with them, but anyway, so, uh, how long ago, probably a couple of years now, I don't, I don't know, I did a tutorial, maybe it wasn't that long, but, um, on how to make these little skeleton, uh, things that I made, little uh, hanging up things or whatever you want to do. Now, when I first found the idea, the person that made them, I think it's on, um, I'll find that out, um, <laughs> uh, it was a beading channel, it had little hands, like little fingers, it had five little fingers on hers, but I didn't do that with mine, and since I've made these I managed to find a few more um, beads like I got these sort here because I really thought they were cool um, I bought these because I thought the, these look a bit uh, old and weird or whatever because they got a, um, a flecky thing going through them uh, I bought some well I, ha I think I had these square ones and I found them uh, so I got the the square like it's, I think it's supposed to be, most it's per shell, you know, shell. Um, and I also had these little heads. I'm really, really trying hard to find some bigger heads so I can do some different sort of ones. But, uh, and I also, when I did them, I made some stick pins. So I'm going to show you how to do the stick pin as well. But today I've made this one here that you can hang around your neck. And I think he looks really cool because <laughs> I made him a lot bigger than, than the other the other ones, oh, well, I say a lot bigger, he is, he is bigger, but see, you could make them smaller like this, and you could have probably for earrings if you wanted to, I don't know, it's up to people what they want to do with them, these look all right on a thing, you know, hanging around your neck for Halloween, or hanging up in your window on a, on something, you know, it doesn't really matter what you do with it, I suppose, send it to someone, um, but anyway, so I'm going to show you how I do them, it's pretty, pretty basic, really, um, you just got to see if you can, you see, you never know. I'm a real bow bird, me, and I really love to pick, find things. You know, there's, there's a lot more of those, you know, when I say a lot more. And you think, now, what would you ever do with something that looks so not so great? I didn't think, anyway, until I realised it would make a really good body. And make not make a bad head, either. If you wanted to put a face on there, I could suppose I could make him a bit... Well, see, there you go. Look at that. That might do it. <laughs> you, you see, you never know. I mean, I've... You can come up with ideas from so many things that you, you'd find, you know. And I've I've got um, ones here that are really um, sort of creamy colour. Well, I think they look good. And I used pearls. I've also got these ones here that I had that I did the last one with. And these are these are pieces of shelly looking things, and they're round. And they're just a thing, you know. Uh, some people might like them on necklaces. I think they look better on on little skeletons. <laughs> so. I've got um, little bits and pieces here that I was using because I just made that bigger one just for a recap for myself and to show you what I'm doing. So I'm going to put those onto there and I'll go, I'm will i going to use one of these um, heads. I've got some heads. I've only got a few heads left. I'm running out of heads. I've, I've been looking for something that's about as big as that bead that I just showed. Where did I do with that bead? I think I could probably make that into a somehow I could do that into a face, couldn't you? I don't know. Could just use it for the head. Doesn't have to have eyes, does it? Hmm? No. Anyway, well, I'm going to do this one here again. I'll do another one of those and show you how that's put together. It's quite simple, really. But you can use whatever you want to do. You, if you've got pearly beads, well, you can use pearly beads because, well, I, I use um, these ones here. Uh, I have some clear ones like this this sort but they're only very small you know you can use those 
as well. There's lots of, or just, or just round beads. You don't have to have any sort of particular thing. It's your, your creation. So, and that's, you know, I like I picked these up for a dollar, and I don't think I could buy them for a dollar if I could find them anywhere. You know, so when if you're ever out looking in your opportunity shops or your places like that, you know, you just think, you now, well, you'll be like me. <laughs> I'll have those because you never know what I might do with them. But anyway, um. While I'm sitting here, I'm getting other ideas about, don't worry, <laughs> what else I'm going to do. Let's just do this first. Now, we need some wire. Now, I'm using today, I've got this um, wire that's on a roll. I bought that years ago. Best thing I'd ever bought. Only cost me a couple of dollars and has lasted for so long. I don't know how much was on there. Actually, oh, what's, what's we got here? I found, oh, this is... That's the one I just showed you, isn't it? Sorry. Um, so that was really good. Now you want something that's fairly, fairly solid, but you need something too, it's easy to work with. You don't want anything that's too thick. So I use about a 26 or 28 gauge wire, mostly in what I do with, with for beading and things. So maybe this would go to a 24, so the lower the number, the thicker the thing <laughs> okay but if you can find something like this or you, you probably get this in a florist or somewhere okay so um that or you you shop so you want about 15 centimeters and you need you'll need a pair of pliers and i'm using ones with these round ends on them because they're, they're as old as the hills but i need them and i can't find another pair yet at this time so i'm good with this they work anyway so you just need one with the round um end on them if you haven't got it you can still work it to your way if you if you know you just it'll be fine don't worry anyway so now for the top of the this is a bubby's head so that's 15 centimeters so we're just going to make a part here by curling this round this around this part here that we got this piece of so we got that little bit right so there's a hole in that and that's what you're going to put your whatever you're going to hang it up with so you either make that as big as small or small as you like i haven't made that very big but if i don't if i can't fit what i want through there i'll just put a jump ring on there and that will fix that okay so to put on the top of his head i'm just going to use a one of these uh bead cap thing on a bead a spacer thing or maybe it is or um cap and that's too too big that's too big. Let's get a smaller one, sorry. Over here somewhere. Yes, okay. Some in this jar here. Nobody panic on me somewhere. So I need some of these, okay? Oh dear, I've also found these beads here too. Oh dear, I wonder what I've got. Well see the skeleton too doesn't have to be um white, I don't think. You know, you can be beat yourself, because I just found this that I have got in a bag of more of them and here this is a good thing like for a bone skeleton, skeleton bone looking thing and it comes off here I hope it comes out oh so that's that'll be good for a piece on the leg I've got sidetracked all together because here they are in here I've got them in here there's the long ones so I'll be able to make a green one <laughs> Okay, <laughs> right now, back to where we were. <laughs> what have we done with our st here? So, so then you want to thread on one of these little bits. Now, if you don't have one of these little bits, just put a little bead on there. You know, you just want something on the end, and then you're going to put on his head. Okay, now it's up to you if you want to put anything on his head before that. You know, whether you feel that way. Um, so now I'm going to put on one of these round things. I'm making him a neck. So when I say round things, I want something like this. You use a square one, <clears throat> like I did for the knees. Uh, I just put round because I thought, well, the neck looks a bit better round. And then I'm going to put on one of these um, little pearly ones here. And then another round one. Make it look sort of, oh, I don't know. Won't look real. We don't have <laughs> to worry about that. <laughs> And another pearly one. Lose my hand. Here we go. Hold on. Uh, come here, you. 
Gotcha. And another little round one. All right. And then I'm going to put on this piece here for his body. This big one here for his body. All right. Like that. So that's going to be his long sort of neck <laughs> bit. Well, it's actually <clears throat> part of the top. I'm looking at it like maybe his uh, ribs. I don't know. <laughs> it's, just, it's all in the eye of the behind the person making it, I suppose. Whatever you, whatever you um, are thinking. Now I'm just going to hang on to that there for a second because I want to make now some arms. Now the arms are just put onto one piece of string, or one piece of string, one piece of wire, and I've made that piece of wire about. I'll just give you a bit of an idea on that maybe four and a half inches which is probably ten oh, if it doesn't matter just cut it <laughs> just cut it and make it make it long enough okay just make it long enough all right now I'm going to do it this way which I had didn't do before because I wanted to show you how you can do this without if you just hold that like so and cross your now this is so he wobble okay you want him to wobble all right there you go now I'm going well I haven't finished that off because I'm going to take his backwards on that in a minute so don't nobody panic so on this part here I'm going to put some shoulders on him so I'm going to have some two round beads two like that sort of thing um one of these long ones and I'm sure this color might be a bit pinky but I guess it doesn't matter this is another thing too, when you're going to do something like this, make sure the wire that you've got is going to go through the holes. Because I was very disappointed because I found these really nice shell ones. And I thought they looked really good, but you know, they've got the tiniest, weeniest little hole and it wouldn't. there's no way that will go through there. Now I'm making just two on this. I think my skeleton has long enough arms, I hope so. And I put a square one on the end here. See, some of these ones, the square ones, haven't got holes big enough. I'm going to put two on there. But just don't use them. Use them on something else later, you know. You don't have to put them on this one. And then we have a little tiny one on the end. When I say a little tiny one, I've got these little pearly ones that we're putting on the end of it, okay? And... Uh, that's that all right so I'm going to cut this off to to about a half an inch which may be maybe quite not quite a, a centimeter and I'm going to roll that round now if you want to go ahead and make tiny little fingers and put on there you can I found it really hard my hands you know a bit bigger and I just find it really hard to do tiny that I, I, th I think it looked all right except once you got them on there all these beads I actually I know what the problem was now it looks so big you know he had these great big hands <laughs> so compared to his body so but I guess that can be a thing I don't know okay so two more of these on this side of the of your little loop two more for his shoulder where are you there two of these ones bugle beads now the bugle these ones can be um, also you can buy uh, these square ones, squarish, I say square, well not square, long, but you can get these too, and they, they'd be good for arms as well, you can use them for your arms, or you can use this long one, or you can even just put beads down there, like I did with this, see, I just put beads, push beads, and then add sections, because you probably sort of want it to look like there, there's a shoulder, and that's too many of those and then you got a, a sort of an elbow sort of piece and another piece of arm and then it, where the wrist is is probably not that big but it doesn't really matter it's your thing and I now need some square ones for there I hope this is in the shot I'll be crying it took me ages to get this ready you know and I think maybe since I've had this camera's been very upsetting I should have should have went and bought it myself. I sent my, this is my daughter's fault anyway. It's just mine for 
Anyway, never mind. I just I'll learn <laughs> some, maybe it's a riddle I hope for your benefit. Okay, so um, now I'm going to cut this off again. There, and I'm going to just roll that up like so. Okay, maybe that could have been a little bit smaller the circle for his hand, but that's going to stop him from coming undone, of course. Okay, so now um, I went, I've already put these on, so I'm going to undo back to below the first bead, and I'm going to put this up in there through that through that part that we've wrapped okay that's going to go through there then I'm going to put these back on which is two more uh, one of these sorry one bead one of them one bead uh, one round bead oops if I hold him up when I'm finished you'll be able to pause it and so you can see what he's made like and then you can do yours then, okay? So you'll push them down like that, of course, his little arms. And it's up to you whether you want him to wobble or not. I mean, he will will swing around, and I guess that's that's the idea. You know, that's a good thing. I guess he can be stiff if you do it really tight. I guess it will make it a lot stiffer. Now we're going to put this big one on, and we're going to cut that off now, just below the bottom of there, to about. A half an inch maybe because we're going to do the same thing here as but we've cut cut it off because it doesn't need to go any further so we can have these little legs hanging off that bit okay right so we're going to put some legs on now <coughs> it's about you need to this to be about six inches or a 30 30 centimeters, oh not 30, 15, 20 centimeters long <coughs> for this piece because his legs you want them to be fairly long and you've got to, you know, best to have a little bit to cut off than what it is to leave it. So when we get, we can go through and thread that on there now <coughs> and put the square things up near his, his top of his bottom of his body. Square bit. There we go, one. And these, they're really tight on here, so I'm going to have to. I'll, I only just stopped, started to use this, so it's got to go into a bag when I'm finished. So we've got two on there. I'm waving around things, but I've got to find a. My hands are not in the way too much. Thread two on here. Make them. They fit, yes. Alright. So now we're going to come down the leg, and so we need some of these. And I've got two at, on each side here. Mm. For that leg. And two over here for this leg. Okay. Hope everybody's having a good time crafting in that. I sort of go off it sometimes, but I don't actually go off it. I think to myself, I really wish I could do something but I don't know what it is it always comes back to you though the feeling that I've always wanted I always want to do this sort of thing and I love to do tutorials and I just hope that I don't make everybody sick looking at me because I, I really you know want to put up some you know, things to teach people how to make that how to make stuff that's what I like to do where are you you dropped him on the floor not on the floor, it went somewhere, I don't know where it went to. I lost something here one day and somebody sent me a message to tell me where it was. They said where it flew to. It could have been Amy, I don't know. Right, now two more. Well, I need Actually, I need four of those. Now that's going to be an issue, I think, because I've got a feeling that that was all I've had at, uh, I had at them things. Okay, so you're not going to worry about that. I've got one here. There's one, two, hang on. I'm going to put one on that side. <clears throat> and one on that side. You know, I might have enough because I can see two more sitting over there. Look at that. Isn't that amazing how they just turned up? <laughs> Come on, get through there, you. They're here, look at this. Wow. Whoops. 
That is really awesome. Yeah. Okay, so there he's going, there's his legs going really well. Now I'm going to just put um, two round ones, uh, round little, little pearly ones on the bottom. And then I found, there's these sort here. Look at these. Wouldn't they have went really well? But the bead, the hole goes through the sides, which is a bit of a shame. But then I thought, oh well, that can be a foot, or a different shape thing. <laughs> See, they can be his foot sitting sideways there. Because I just wanted to use it, you know. And here's another. There you go. So here he is, nearly all done. <coughs> What you have to do is just cut back this like you have done the other. Give him a little tug. Make sure that it's um, firm. Uh, I have to get a bit more of that off. You want him to make sure he's firm because you, can, you want him to move, but you don't want him to be not recognisable as a <laughs> as a skeleton. Okay. There you go. Now, there you are. There he is. Actually, he does very wobbly, but that doesn't matter. It just depends what you're looking for and how you tighten it up. Whether you know, and I think that looks really cool myself. I'm really p quite partial to that. Very nice. Okay, so let's just check our time and see what what else we got to do. I must move my hand up there. Let's see what. How long have I been going on here? 12 minutes, is that all? 21 minutes, yeah, that's a bit more like it. So I better go, and I'll come back in a minute, and I'll show you how to do the stick bins. Okay? That won't be a minute. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 